natural disasters Hello Guam Photography viewers, today I have with me the Leica M Monochrome, also known as the Leica M Type 246 and our model is holding the Leica MP Type 240 and the Leica M Monochrome shoots excellent black and white photos but it's actually more expensive, $500 more than the MP Type 240 which goes for $7,000 so is it worth it to get the Leica M Monochrome or could you just get the MP Type 240 shoot in color and then convert it to black and white. Does the M monochrome have more shades of gray? Is the sharpness more excellent on this? Um, how's the high ISO? Which camera can go um, high ISO but have clean images? And today we have our model. Hi guys, my name is Pauline Barola. Um, I recently moved here to Guam around August of last year and this is going to be my first time shooting with anybody and I'm really glad I have James Berry to help me awesome. do this and yeah. You guys can follow me on my Instagram. It's Pauline Barola underscore. Okay, and of course we'll put it the link in the description below and also on screen. All right, let's start shooting. For fingers, try not to have it too um, spread out. So I'm going to have you point towards the light. Okay, one, two, and three. Physical differences about the camera, the Leica M monochrome has the word monochrome on the hot shoe that is blacked out, it's not filled in with ink. Back of the camera says Leica camera Retzler, meaning Germany, that's also blacked out. Other than that, the MP240 uh, just has the Leica script at the top, but it doesn't have the uh, Leica camera Retzler, meaning in Germany, at the back. Uh, the leather grip for each camera is slightly different um, but everything else is pretty much the same. The lens I've been using is for studio is uh, like a Summicron 50mm APO and that lens is legendary, it's very sharp. But outdoors I may change to the Konica 90mm 2.8. Oh, not up just to like right, like right here. So can I a little bit higher than the waist and to yeah, your face? Yeah, about to the waist. Then, okay, cool. Yeah. Both cameras um, have the same uh, megapixels, both is 24 megapixels. To make the test kind of scientific and the same, the ISO is the same, uh, aperture is the same, there's no auto white balance on the monochrome, um, white balance on the MP240 that Pauline is holding has been set to 4400 Kelvin. Some say that the monochrome gives like an organic feel, um, kind of looks like uh, medium format film. So when I get home on the computer, uh, I'll check out both RAW files and I'll see when I convert the color RAW files of the MP240 to black and white, we'll see which black and white file put is um, better. This is the bonus camera I want to compare, the Leica ME, or also known as the Leica M9. All three cameras are on RAW and JPEG, so I want to convert the RAW files to black and white and see how they look. And outside I'm using the Konica or Kornica 90mm 2.8 to shoot uh, Pauline on the street, so we can blur the background a little bit. So far I'm, I'm liking all the Leica files, very excellent, very good. Take some time just to be thankful that I had days full of you, you before it winds down into the memories. It's all just memories now. It's already like 6.45, sun has set already, 
And just by using the uh, monochrome and the MP240 that Pauline has, sometimes the MP240 black and whites uh, for JPEG looks good, sometimes even better than the monochrome. Uh, some things did stand out. Um, I couldn't set the ISO lower than three, 320 on the monochrome, but you can set the ISO to 200 or even pull 100. Uh, I believe it's pull 100 on the MP240. Um, but what did you think of the photo shoot today? Um, I really enjoyed it. There's so like my facial expression was like awkward most of the time, but like as it progresses, I kind of just loosened up and I was calm. And I really like how the pictures turned out too. I know it's your first time yeah. modeling yeah. ever, but you did very good. Thank you. And it always takes about 20 yeah. minutes to, to warm up first and then mm -hmm. um, then your body language would become more, more smoother, not stiff anymore, uh, then your facial expressions, um, mm -hmm. yeah, got really good towards the end. So I can't wait to go home, uh, look on the computer, uh, comparing the uh, black and white raw files from the monochrome and the color from the MP240 and just try to convert the color to black and white to see um, if it can match the monochrome. And it did test the bonus camera, the ME, which is the same as the M9, uh, just to see if that CCD sensor can also match the uh, newer monochrome sensor. And we'll have the comparisons uh, after this. Um, just got to load up when I, when I go home. All right, thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Hi. Now I am back here at my house and I'm looking at the raw files from the Leica Monochrome and the Leica MP240. Let's look at them now. All I'm going to do to convert the MP240 raw files from color to black and white is in Lightroom treatment, I'm going to click black and white. This is the same from making saturation all the way down to negative 100. And the only thing I did was do embedded profile for the mp240 files okay so we have the mp240 in black and white and we're going to compare it with the monochrome black and white go to library i'm going to do my best to always make the monochrome files on the left hand side at first glance you'll notice that the monochrome file here is warmer for some reason it's not black and white as the right hand side it has kind of like a sepia look, like a very light brown filter on it. Let's zoom into Pauline's eyes. Both is very sharp. Same settings, ISO 400, F11 Studio. This is reading it wrong. Using a Sumercon APO lens, very sharp, very legendary uh, lens. I did try to do a conversion from the MP240 file and I did convert it using Nick Collection Silver FX. I did a neutral, and this is the neutral edit here using Silver FX. Let's compare it to the monochrome. The neutral processing on the right hand side seems forced. You actually lose a lot of detail in Pauline's face. The monochrome feels very organic, like a lot of people say. It feels um, actually, yeah, film like. Okay, let's look at a different pose. Again, I'm going to convert it by just choosing black and white. And then I'm going to compare it to the monochrome file. Okay. Left hand side. I hope you're seeing this, but I see like a, it's warmer. Very sharp. I'm not noticing any difference differences in detail. They both hold the same amount of detail, but it's not really, well, shades of gray for the monochrome. It seems like there is more shades of gray, different kind of black and white. It's hard to put into words. Okay, let's go outside. Or before I do, let's look at the JPEGs. Uh, this is a JPEG for the monochrome here and JPEG for the MP240. It looks a little dark for the uh, monochrome compared to the MP240. It looks more processed, a lot of contrast. And actually, I believe I did turn on, I think, shadow correction for the monochrome JPEGs. I can show you that uh, on the screen, the menu selection. Uh, let's look at 
the raw file and JPEGs, how different they are for the monochrome. So we have this make the raw file on the left hand side. So raw file left hand side, right side of JPEG. Uh, looks a little darker. Looks more processed. You lose you lose that warm glow. Let's look at the MP240. We're all found on the left hand side. Yeah, this is too contrasty. Seems like you lose a lot of detail in your hair. Let's zoom in. Yeah, very contrasty. Process JPEG. All right, let's go outside. Here we have the monochrome raw file. And we have the MP240 converted to black and white. Okay, we'll compare the two. Really liking the monochrome files. I know lighting is a bit different. Okay, the bonus camera is an M9. Let's take a look at the M9 camera. I already did a conversion on this. I had to lower down the exposure because the metering uh, for the M9, uh, there is only center weighted, I believe, or classic metering. So this is already in black and white. And let's compare it to the monochrome. Monochrome left hand side. Different exposures. Uh, the sun was really changing, but I'm liking the, uh, the monochrome files better. To look at the details on your jacket, it just seems more warmer overall for some reason with the monochrome files. If you've ever um, edited monochrome files in Lightroom, there is no auto white balance or white balance selector. You can only adjust exposure, highlight shadows. So you can adjust black and white to your liking. and sharpness but there's you can't adjust any profiles embedded okay let's look at another shot another pose this is the mp240 compared to the monochrome liking the monochrome just has a warm organic feel Really nice. Let's compare it with the M9. Changes to black and white. Model chrome left hand side. Different, uh, I did my best for the composition, but M9 again, nice. Both files kind of out of focus a little bit. I noticed with the uh, Konica 90 F 2.8, the farther I went, the more harder it was to focus. Um, and uh, I'm not too sure if that's the character of the lens or a miss focus uh, issue with the lens itself. I did some high ISO test. This is the MP240 at 3200. I'll compare it with the monochrome at 3200. Okay, monochrome being the left hand side. As you can see in the shadows, monochrome is very clean. MP240 is very grainy already. The maximum the MP240 can go up to is 6400. So let's look at that. Okay, 6400. And the monochrome at 6400 is here. Okay, let's look at the two. So this is topping on 6400. This is actually pushed on the MP240. Very grainy, but the monochrome was holding up really well. Really nice. The monochrome can go up to 25,000 pushed. So this is the monochrome at 12,500. Still usable in my opinion. And monochrome at 25,000 really grainy and this is the jpeg jpeg they do the best to try clean all right everyone thanks for watching this video i hope this is going to help some people out there deciding 
uh, if they should purchase a monochrome or not, or if you just get the MP240 and convert it from color to black and white. I know it's very hard to see the differences, especially when you do convert it to um, black and white. Let me just put this back up again. But the differences is there. The monochrome seems like there's a warmer look to it. It seems that it's very natural, very organic, but it does come pretty close when you convert the MP240 to black and white. But if you don't want to spend the extra step and clicking and converting to black and white, and you want a Paris black and white camera, then the Leica Monochrome is the camera to get. And you get awesome, uh, even processed JPEGs out of the camera and RAW files out of the camera right away. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. Your cries they can be heard from far and wide. It's only